This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Harry's. What's going on guys, I'm Mark Lentang from Techno Buffalo and in today's Rumor Roundup we'll be talking a little bit about Samsung's next big thing, the Note 5, the next iPhone's coming with a 3D display, Apple Watch prices, and Microsoft's plans for music streaming. This is Rumor Roundup, let's start rounding those rumors up. We know how much people are loving QHD displays on smartphones. We have the Note 4, the LG G3, and Verizon's Droid Turbo, just to name a few. But Samsung feels it can climb to the top of the spec mountain with an even higher resolution Galaxy Note 5. According to the rumor, the Korean company is on pace to produce a 5.9 inch Ultra HD Super AMOLED display for next year's model. That means owners would have a 700 plus PPI display on their pockets, which I think is absolutely insane. My eyes are just adjusting to all of these beautiful 2K displays, but 4K resolution on a smartphone phone seems a bit of an overkill. I don't know, what do you guys think of this 4K display craze? Now on the topic of displays, Apple made a big leap this year by increasing the screen size of its iPhones, and next year it may again focus on display technology. According to a recent report, Apple's working to build a 3D display that doesn't really require special glasses for its next iPhone. Apple's apparently developing special software and 3D hardware that'll enable 3D image viewing on its next smartphone. We've already seen this sort of technology on mobile devices before, phones like the LG Optimus 3D and the HTC Evo 3D. I personally am not a big fan of 3D displays, especially on a smartphone, but maybe Cupertino has some magic up its sleeves that'll make 3D more useful than gimmicky. The Apple Watch is set to start at $350, but with three different models to choose from, you may end up paying a lot more on the higher end, but a new report claims to reveal official pricing for all three Apple Watch variants, along with a possible release date for the wearable device. As expected, it looks like the Apple Watch Sport, which offers an anodized aluminum design, will be the cheapest option to choose from, starting at $350. The stainless steel Apple Watch will allegedly be available for $500, while the 18 karat gold edition could cost between $4,000 and $5,000, which I'm most certainly not going to get. Reports are also saying that the Apple Watch is still set to launch in time for Valentine's Day, though that doesn't really match up with recent leaks pointing to a spring launch. Let's take a quick break from this video and thank our friends over at Harry's. Did you know the month of November is upon us? Are you growing out an epic handlebar mustache? Harry's.com is the official razor partner for November and will be there for you for the entire Harry month. Whether or not you're going to grow out your mow with Harry's, you can get an amazing shave and do good by supporting November's quest to fund research on important men's health issues. Their starter shave set starts at just $15 that includes the razor, three blades, and your choice of Harry shave cream or their new foaming shave gel. I'm that type of guy who likes cream. Anyways, Harry also released their Shave Moisturizer. Go to harrys.com now and Harry's will give you $5 off if you type in the code TECHNO with your first purchase. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com and enter the coupon code TECHNO at checkout for $5 off and change the way you shave forever. By the way, there's free shipping. Now last but not least, it seems that Microsoft's new plan for a streaming and storage service are finally coming together and the company's strategy may hinge on a marriage between its OneDrive cloud storage and Xbox Music. The new service will allegedly be called Xbox Music Locker and will let you upload your music to OneDrive and then access it from the Xbox branded app. Xbox Music Locker will apparently be free to use and Microsoft may even offer 20 gigabytes of OneDrive storage for anyone who uploads their music, though there's really no word on when this service will launch. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Rumor Roundup, and as always, I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo, and we hope to see you guys there.